Previously. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. Soon! Really? That seems like unwise. So like most of your decisions in life. Alright, awesome. We have this really... Creepy beeping now. Tracking device? Question mark. Wave receiver. What does it say? Okay. Wave receiver, they want it back. Who? Tracking device. Who else are they following? Interesting. Uh, site reports. No too much. Delilah lying? Delilah lying? What the? So he's starting to become paranoid about Delilah, apparently. The Patriots... Begins and ends in deep in deep in Red Russia, where they sent him to spy, where they urged him to kill, and where they learned that he wasn't the patriot they had hoped. I wonder if with the espionage, he's like reading novels that deal with espionage, making him that much more paranoid. I mean, he has reason to be worried about stuff, maybe, but he's like getting super paranoid. Let's see. I hope you're boop, boop, happy we're leaving and we're going to find the police or what. Okay, so that's from the oh, note from the teens, okay. Ron and Dave note. So he's collecting, like, all this stuff to try to figure it out. Missing person last seen at Lake. Others missing teens. Ron and Dave. NFS or working for them? Brian Goodwin. Goodwin's under surveillance, too. Who is listening to us? Okay, that's a note we've already read. Note from fire crew, Wapiti Station. Worried about fires. Knew they were a target? Destroying evidence? Framing us? Teen note. That's over there. What is... Uh, what? Okay, that's weird. Oh, right here. Teen's note. Actually a bear? Teen's in on it? Frame me for attack? Wapiti Station, government-owned controlled area. Wapiti Station personnel. If you're trying to reach, yep, that's the note we read about Dr. Simmons. Huh. So he's, like, putting together a big old... He's doing a big old workup on uh, all this stuff. It's like you planning for a day, Zexor. What? Ugh, don't pretend like you didn't know what I'm talking about. What do you mean? All the time you're like, oh, if I put this here and talk to the store owner and maybe go to the restaurant just the right time. Do you say so? Ah. Right. <coughs> I kind of worried <laughs> to go outside, but I guess we got it, right? At some point. Hey, Turt Reynolds. What's up, buddy? Aw, so cute. Hi, buddy. What's going on? All right, I'm going to adopt you. You're adopted. All right. Hope that means it doesn't mean it gets killed, though, when he, uh... Yep, okay, let's go out. Try to figure out where the crap this beeping's coming from, I guess. Can't talk to Delilah anymore. She's got a radio off, so that's great. Okay... What? It started to go fat, like higher, and then it stopped. Back up to the tower and try again. Okay, so from here.
Hmm. Hop over this. What the heck? How do I, okay, how do I get down? Hang on. Go out in the friggin' way out here, really? Oh crap, no, no. Oh, smash. The key. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine, but there's there's also a set of keys here. Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. <laughs> Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Go back to look out. Oh. Okay. Like, I should rush up and confront this dude that potentially is super dangerous? Assuming it's a dude, even. I don't even know, right? But I should rush to confront somebody that could basically be waiting to kill me? Really? That seems, like, unwise. So, like, most of your decisions in life. Yeah, yeah, like, which, which, shut up. Jerk. Oh gosh. Okay, here we do the stupid maneuver and frickin' go back to my friggin' tower where there's a really bad feeling about this, but okay. I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. Really? This is not good. I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. No, no. God dang it. I don't like this at all. <laughs> Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. Gosh. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my God, what the fuck is happening, Henry? She's freaking out. I don't blame her. I would be freaked out too. Like, what the crap? It's 
going to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. Yeah, Jones, toward Jonesy Lake. Because that's where the... Wait. Was that or did I go... Hang on. I actually go this other way, right? Toward the out... the Where the outhouse had been. Which is what, over like this? Because then you climb down the rocks and there's the cave that we came out through. That's where I'm heading anyway, so... Uh... Wait, what? Which way do we go? Okay, from here. Oh my gosh. I went like the super long way to the cave. Like, I'm not even where the cave is right now. Are you... Where the crap? I'm like way over by Jonesy Lake. I'm not even close to the cave. God oh, dang it. Eh. Piece of junk. Oh, hey, is there? Oh, it's a raccoon. Hey, hey, where'd he go? Hey, raccoon. Can I? No. Ah. It's raccoon Copperfield. Okay, I'm actually going... <laughs> I actually found the right way to go. Gosh. Water around so much in this friggin' game. God dang it. Uh, okay. Hey, you... You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. I don't even know how to call anyone other than you. And please, rest assured, I would have found someone with a better sense of humor a long time ago. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Gosh. Okay. Like, how do they have a key? It's supposed to belong to the park service, right? Obviously, something is messed up. Gosh. I'm so freaking nervous now. Okay. What the hell? Jesus, this is a big cave. Pulaski. Maybe. <laughs> that, those rocks are loose, though, still, though, dude. So that's not necessarily a great plan. But okay. I suppose I probably shouldn't run. Uh, those rocks are going to crumble. It's freezing in here. I'm surprised they didn't. I'm surprised they didn't break or whatever when I landed. And you 
can climb back out if you do this. I see a shoe down there. I don't know if I want to drop where I maybe can't come back though. Long steep drop could end up being bad. It says find a way out of the cave, so that's kind of what I'm going for right now, right? But I don't know. Space, drop down, space, drop down. No, I can't just like actually drop instead of Where am I on the map now? I'm way over there from the cave. Uh, I'm going to go back and investigate, I think. But not this time. I, we're out of time. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a little anticlimactic. I was thinking something was going to happen in the cave. Uh, all right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. This has been um, number, oh, what are we, nine of my playthrough of Firewatch. I'm Zexor. If you like this video, smash the thumbs up. It helps a lot. If you haven't already done so and you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on social media. References at the description of the video down below and at the end we'll show you where you can do that and i will try to keep you up to date with all the latest on my channel and what's going on with me in general reminders about my weekly streams on twitch notifications about giveaways when we're able to afford to do those and so on thanks for watching i'll see you in the next part until next time peace